Hey there folks. If you watch any of my backyard videos, especially in the summertime, you would have seen that I have two Mojave Desert tortoises. And I usually keep them over on the side of my house. Well, I let them out in the yard, but I have their above ground burrow on the side of my house. And this year I wanted to do something different. I wanted to put their burrow in the main yard um, for a couple different reasons. One being that where I wanted to put it now, um, they'll get full sun from the morning till the evening. Where I had it before, they only get sun in the later days because there's a fence there. It was on the south um, side of the house, but there's a fence there, so it blocks the sun. So this will be better because those guys, they like to keep warm. Um, also, if you live down south in Las Vegas or Southern California or um, Phoenix, anywhere like that, and you have uh, desert tortoises, it's a little different down there. They'll, uh, they'll burrow under the ground and they'll bromate through the winter. They'll come back out in spring. They'll be fine. But up here in northern Nevada, our winters get down pretty cold. Um, we can get down to about 15 degrees. Sometimes, you know, we might get down. I think historically we've gotten down like minus five around here. But as a rule of thumb, about the coldest we get is about 15 degrees during the winter, 15, 20 degrees. If a tortoise's burrow is underground at that temperature, our, our ground freezes and the tortoises will die. So that's why up here we have, we do an above ground burrow. And then at the end of the season, we bring the tortoises in, um, put them in a cardboard box and put them in the garage. And the garage usually stays anywhere from about, you know, right around 50 degrees, give or take. And um, that's perfect for the tortoises to bromate and they'll, you know, sleep through the winter. But anyways, let me show you what I did and why I did it. Right up there at the top of the yard. I'll show you. Let's go walk over there. Now my my grass isn't very spectacular this time of year. It's uh it's dormant this time of year. It's March, middle March, so things really don't get going around here until like early May. Maybe late April, early May. But what I have here is in the summertime, this grass right here, big giant grasses that grow up and kind of have this thing of rocks here at the top of my dry riverbed. But here's the above ground burrow I built for them. And what I did was I removed about a foot of dirt from in there. I dug down flat, took out a foot of dirt and I put in real fine, um, metal mesh and then i put all the dirt back in and compacted it down the reason i did that is i don't want them to dig out into one of my neighbor's yards now i was proactive when i first bought this house and i first moved in here before i landscaped the yard i ran two by 12s as you can see all the way around the wooden fence all the way around the whole yard um, in every direction so those are actually 12 inches deep and then I backfilled everywhere with rock, as you can see, and I did that. So hopefully they don't dig under. So far they haven't. If I just would have left the fence at ground level, they could have easily dug right under it. So I know they can't dig out of here, because when they go in their burrow, they do turn tend to dig a little bit. So this is what I came up with for them, right here in the corner. Um, this way right here, that way south. That way's west, so they'll get sun here, because this is in the uh, northeast corner in the yard. So they'll get sun all day long. And then also at the end of the season, you know, in the fall, when they lay their eggs, um, I have nowhere to, for them to lay eggs, because they're not going to lay eggs in the gravel, in the lawn. They need a sandy, rocky soil to lay their eggs, and they're pretty particular. So I have this here, this little area um, where the grass grows. 
and I usually plant some more plants in here throughout the um, spring and summer. But I think this year I'm just going to leave these two plants. This little shrub here, it's dead. I'll pull it out. And I have plenty more sandy dirt I'm going to bring in. And I'm going to build this up maybe another six inches. So they'll have a nice place. And they also like to lay their eggs on a hillside, kind of. I think they do that in nature so that way um, if there's a, you know, these, these animals, they're, they're adapted to survive. And I think, you know, the hillside is probably to avoid floods or something. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to put about six more inches of dirt in here. So they'll have a place to lay their eggs right there. And uh, I know they will because on the side of the house I did the same thing and that's where they, that's where she laid her eggs. But yeah, that's my new um, tortoise above ground burrow right there. I used uh, pressure treated uh, 2x12s for the back. The back side you can't see. And then the top, those are, uh, those are uh, fence pickets. Basically these right here. Because it was cheaper than using the 2x12s on the top. And the front is also fence pickets. Screwed it all together with uh, exterior uh, screws. So that should be perfect for them. They'll go right in there. Alright folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.